why in the hell didn't Honda do this? Good morning, YouTube. How you doing out there? This is Cruise Man. Just getting ready to leave my morning coffee. So this is one of my coffee motive vlogs, I guess you could call it. We have to come up with a, a term for that since I seem to be motive vlogging every morning as I leave my uh, coffee spot here at Einstein's Bagels in Coppell, Texas. Sometimes I go to the one, I'm sorry, I'm in uh, Carrollton, Texas. Sometimes I go to the one in Coppell. So this morning, got a couple of uh, very interesting topics to talk about. First of all, we got uh, 8 o'clock traffic. It's 8.13 in the morning. I'm getting away a little later than normal. This new time, daylight savings time, kind of has me messed up a little bit. How many of you like daylight savings time? Let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people say we ought to just get rid of it. I actually kind of like it in the summertime because, you know, it's daylight until here, you know, sometimes 9, 10 o'clock at night. So if you're doing summer uh, touring on the motorcycle, I prefer to ride in the daylight. So I kind of like daylight savings time just for that reason. So if I'm on a tour, uh, and I don't get into another city until later in the afternoon. I don't have to worry about it getting dark on me. So what are your thoughts on that? Okay, so let's get started. The subject of this video is how to increase your storage space on the 2018 to 2020 Honda Goldwing. I like to call it the 6th generation Goldwing. So the first thing you can do, obviously, is you can pull a trailer. That's what I do when I go on a road trip. I just hook up my Bush Tech trailer and I have unlimited storage space. Not unlimited, but you know what I mean. More than I would ever need. But now there are a few other options available for those of you that are so inclined. You know, one of the biggest complaints about the uh, sixth generation Goldwing is the smaller storage capacity. You could easily put two helmets in the previous generation Goldwing trunk. And I know there's some of you that have figured out a way to get two helmets into this 2018 plus trunk but I haven't been able to do it with my two helmets so I would challenge anybody to come to where I am and let me bring my two helmets and you see if you can get those two helmets to fit in the trunk they will not fit I've tried them upside down on their side straight up <laughs> I can't even get my HJC IS Max helmet to fit standing up in the trunk by itself. Now I have the luggage rack installed so that you know there's some little bolt heads sticking down too that might be causing an issue but I couldn't get it to fit before I put in the luggage rack. So but there are a couple of new options I want to talk about. Now I want to preface it by saying I have not had a chance to personally test or review any of the products we're going to talk about today. I'm just going by what I see online, just like some of you have seen, many of you have seen, and some of you have been sending me emails and uh, comments through YouTube or through my website asking me about these products. So I thought, why don't we just talk about it today? Now, the first thing I'm going to talk about is this thing called Goldwing Case. And this is a product, I think it was announced a few months ago. It's out of France, and uh, their website's all in, well, it's not all in French, but it is, it's a French website, it's a French company. Now what they've developed is a, I guess you could call it like a, a riser. It's like a one and a half to two inch piece of plastic 
that fits in between the trunk and the trunk lid. Essentially elevating your trunk lid up an inch to an inch and a half. And it comes in two different styles. It comes in a black, like a flat black, which you could use on any color Goldwing. Or it comes in a color match in either the blue or the red to match the Goldwing blue or the Goldwing red. Personally, like I say, I haven't had a chance to review and test this, but just from what I've seen from their website, I'm not crazy about the way it looks. I think it kind of ruins the the overall design of the trunk of the trunk area. Now you can fault Honda for a lot of things. Honestly, you can, you know, when it comes to this Goldwing, there's a you know several people that can criticize and justifiably. But one thing I don't think you can justifiably criticize Honda for, and that's the styling of this motorcycle. I think they did an excellent job with the design and the styling of the bike. So anything to me that takes away from that smooth flow, that elegant look of the bike, the sporty look of the bike, to me is, is a deal killer. And I just don't like the way it looks. I, it may function perfectly well. I don't know. I have no way to know if it, how it does the weatherproofing, how it keeps the water out of the trunk. I don't know because I haven't had a chance to test it. I did reach out to them to see if I could get a, a uh, sample to try and test and review, but no reply. Now the other option is to completely replace your trunk lid with a new one from Corbin. Corbin has come out, and you, some of you know Corbin, they are famous kind of for their aftermarket seats. Well, they've come out with a taller trunk lid. And this is very interesting because I actually think Corbin did a nice job with the styling of this trunk lid. I think it, it really, it's a much better idea than this little spacer. And I think the Corbin trunk lid actually does give you another couple of inches of height on the trunk. Maybe an inch, inch and a half, two inches, I'm not sure exactly. But it does increase the volume and the height of your trunk lid. Now again, I haven't had a chance to see it in person. I haven't had a chance to test it. So, I'm just telling you, I'm just going from the pictures on the internet. But I can tell you a little bit about the Corbin larger saddlebag lids. And I'll talk about that in a minute. And I don't know if it applies to the tr this new trunk lid or not. But on the website, Corbin claims that you can now get two helmets into the trunk much easier. What I like about the Corbin trunk lid is they will color match it to whatever Goldwing color you have and it also is designed to accept the Honda luggage rack. It's actually pre-drilled and the Honda trunk light. So it was pretty well thought out. It looks to be good quality. Um, I personally have had no experience with Corbin products, but it looks, uh, it looks like a nice design. It begs the question, why in the hell didn't Honda do this? Why didn't Honda come out with a larger trunk lid and offer it as an accessory? Honda's in a much better financial condition to be able to do this than Corbin is. And there's nothing to suggest that Honda won't do it at some point. However, the Corbin trunk lid, let's talk price for a second. I'm talking about the trunk first. I'll get to the saddlebags in a minute. The Corbin trunk lid is almost $1,000. You're talking 900 bucks. So, that's going to put it out of the reach of most people. Now, I understand why it's that expensive. 
Corbin probably had to spend forty or fifty thousand dollars to get an injection mold made before they ever made one lid. So they're they've got a lot of fixed costs to recover. I understand why they have to charge that much. That's why I say Honda already has all this stuff in their in their factories. They could have knocked this thing out in no time for half the price. But they didn't. So the aftermarket is in play. Now if you're talking about the little Goldwing case extender, that thing, their prices are in euros on their website, but you can easily convert. You're talking 300 bucks for the black one and about 400 bucks for the painted one. Just for a little piece of plastic to stick in between your trunk and your trunk lid. So if I were going to go with either of these options, my first choice would probably be the Corbin just because of the way it looks. It looks like it was designed by Honda. It looks like it fits the styling of the bike better. But I don't know anything about the quality. But what I can tell you is a little bit about the saddlebag the larger saddlebag lids that Corbin makes because I did get a chance to see a set of these when I was at Wingding last year there was a gentleman that had a white 2018 like mine and he was having these he was ha he had those expanded saddlebag lids and he was having a, a pinstriping job done so I got a chance to go up and look at these saddlebag lids and they look to be very well made but here's what I don't like about them First of all, the color match of the paint was pretty much dead on. They had a really good, they did a good job of matching the white, pearl white paint color. But what I didn't like is there was a lot of orange peel. So you could tell when you looked up close to the saddlebag cover and the bike that it, it, it just didn't look, it didn't look right. The color matched, but the, the orange peel didn't match. So Corbin could have done a better job with the clear coat, maybe uh, cutting and buffing that clear coat a little bit to get rid of that orange peel. That was my only complaint on that. Now the other thing about the saddlebag lids is they do not have support for the reflector on the saddlebags. So I'm not even sure if they meet Department of Transportation standards because I think you have to have reflectors on the rear of the motorcycle and in my case I actually have lights back there with reflectors but they're lit up during the day too so I don't know it's just basically a piece of black painted down to the bottom it's not it's not it doesn't it's not exactly like the Honda saddlebag covers the other concern I have about the Corbin saddlebag lids is what happens if you tip over. I'm not sure if the tip over protection on the Goldwing will protect those larger saddlebag lids. They might actually hit the ground. I couldn't find any information on the Corbin website to say one way or the other. So if you have those Corbin larger saddlebag lids, let me know if you've, if you've dropped your bike, do those tip over bars protect those larger saddlebag lids? Because I would be kind of surprised if they do. So that's what your options are right now. Now those, those uh, saddlebags are over $900. Just so you'll know, the saddlebag lids a set for your Goldwing is going to cost you over $900. Corbin trunk lid I think is $860, something like that. So you're looking at about maybe going close to $2,000 just to get larger saddlebag and trunk. I can live with these saddlebags. I would like to have a larger trunk. Now, again, I've reached out to Corbin to see if they'll send me a set to test and video and look at and talk to you guys about so I could really give you good information. They, they don't reply. I, I have no, uh, 
no relationship at all with Corbin. I have no contact there. So if any of you know anyone at Corbin uh, that you can reach out to on my behalf and say, hey, get in touch with Cruise Man, Cruise Man's Garage, let him review your product, that'd be great. But personally, I just don't know anybody at Corbin, and they don't have a lot of contact information on their website. So that's uh, the video for today. There's some of your options. If you want more trunk space, more saddlebag, more storage, you could always pull a trailer. You can get a big bag for the back seat to put stuff in. But as far as your saddlebags and trunk, those are your options right now. Honda should have done what Corbin did. Honda should have come out with a taller trunk lid. Oh, and by the way, the Corbin trunk lid will work with your uh, Honda backrest. So your backrest will fit on it. You don't have to buy the Corbin backrest. Uh, it, it pretty much is, a, is, is just a straight swap out. Works with the same hydraulic uh, little dampers and everything. So it appears to be pretty well thought out, pretty well designed. So anyway, give me your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for joining me today. I'd appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. Don't forget the bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you when we come out with another video. Thanks again for joining me today, and I'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.